So here's the diagnostic exercise to piggyback off of traditional doubles. Um, it doesn't require any sort of snap caps or anything like that. Where it, it's kind of a take on the old ball and dummy drills, but we call it just a bang click exercise. So what we first need to do is we're gonna shoot traditional doubles on one target to establish kind of a baseline to see if there's any sort of trends that develop on the target. Then we're going to then set up on another target and do a bang click exercise. And I'll kind of explain to you what we're looking for. And you, I'm sure you'll be able to see it as I kind of move the camera a little closer to the gun and you'll be able to see kind of almost in, in quiet time what happens when we're actually actuating the trigger, but not, but we're, we're getting too emotionally attached to recoil when we're getting ready to press that trigger. Some would call that the flinch or anticipation what I call it is it's just emotional attachment to what's going on before we've actually fired the gun. So we're mistiming the shot or we're mistiming trying to, to press against or push against or pull against recoil. We don't want to have any of that. Once we want to establish our grip, we want to keep our grip as maintained as possible and as consistent as we can, then work the trigger independently of that grip. We don't want to add more grip when we're trying to go faster. We don't want to take away grip when we're trying to go more careful or more deliberate. So. Let me show you what we got here. We're gonna do the traditional doubles on our right target here. Stand by. Okay. So, on our traditional doubles, Everything is well within the A zone. However, we've got four of the eight shots right around the spot of the dot where I was looking at. And we've got a couple of errant shots, four other errant shots that are second shots where I may have been adding more pressure with my entire firing hand or possibly taking away support hand pressure with my support hand when I was firing that second shot that caused some errancy in a couple of those shots. So now we're going to, on this fresh target, we're gonna do a bang click exercise. And in order to do this, you just need a full magazine. Let me set the camera back up here. And I'm gonna set the camera off to the side a little bit so you can actually see what my hands are doing in relationship to the gun. So for the bang click exercise, you're going to load a magazine, load around in the chamber, such as I have. You're going to take the magazine out of the gun. You're going to bring the gun up to the point of aim and you're going to fire two shots. And you'll notice on that second shot, there was a significant push down. What we want to try to do is eliminate or to ensure that the push down happens after the hammer has fallen, not before the hammer has fallen. So of course we chamber another round, we take that magazine back out and we do it again. Set it back up. Set it back up. but it doesn't require there we go that seemed pretty solid so now the last two in the gun I'm gonna fire in succession so once I've kind of eliminated or felt my pushing against the gun during recoil to try to return the gun I need to make sure that I'm not returning the gun too far or I'm not trying to force against the gun before I've actually pressed the trigger so now I'm gonna fire two shots directly side by side and see if that corrected the issue We've got the same plane, one slightly off to the left, we're going to fix it again. So we're going to take one in the chamber, that felt pretty good, so now we're going to follow it up. That looks great. So just a little bit of time taking a, like putting around in the chamber, taking a, taking the magazine back out and firing two trigger presses, one live round, one dry fire round will allow you to see 
without the recoil, how you are actuating the trigger on the gun to see if you are pushing or pulling the pistol around or moving it unnecessarily while trying to fire the shot. These are the three that, again, were a little more errant and then able to stack them hole and hole and hole once we've kind of isolated the issue and eliminated it. Anyway, I hope that helps. Talk to you soon.